Uh, so let's uh, literally start at the top and start talking about helmets first. So Petzl has uh, a very interesting foothold in the market now in being the only brand that offers uh, UIAA rated top and side impact protection. So every helmet on the market is UIAA rated for a top down impact. And you know, and that's why people really started wearing helmets to begin with was in multi pitch and mountain terrain to protect themselves from uh, rock fall. However, people have started wearing helmets now in single pitch situations because there is the opportunity to get the rope stuck behind your foot or a bad catch or catching a ledge on the way down and end up inverted and hitting your head. Now, all the other helmets on the market, they're not actually tested and rated for a side or back impact. What Petzl has done is, is they have now doing a, a five kilogram drop, drop test on the side and the back of the helmet to verify that our helmets have 360 degrees of protection, pretty much making them the safest helmets on the market. And you're gonna see that through the entire line. Uh, when you start at the children's helmet, the Pichu, which also doubles as a bicycle helmet, uh, and then you come into uh, the Boreo and such. Now, one of the other reasons why we wanted to go with that top and side impact protection is now that uh, our helmets are also okay to use as like a ski mountaineering helmet. So say you're doing a, a ski approach to something um, and then you're going to have a climb or do some mountaineering objective or the ski you know, ascent to get to your descent requires some technical terrain that requires a helmet. This helmet will also protect you on the ride down the mountain. So it's really cool. So what uh, Petzl has done is essentially made the helmet as all around as possible. And that's really cool. We have a few helmets in the range. Uh, on the entry level, uh, we're gonna be looking at the Boreo. It's a little bit heavier, but really good protection. Large holes for ventilation, hard shell over an EPP foam inner. Um, just a really good all around, you know, if you're just wearing a helmet in a single pitch terrain, weight doesn't really matter. I think that the Boreo is a great option. Uh, in addition to that, we have the Borea that goes along with it. Uh, you know, as you can hear by the A sound, Borea, it's a Boreo. It is a lady's helmet, but it also has a cutaway for a ponytail so that you can have your hair tied back and it isn't obstructed by the uh, uh, helmet. And so it, 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 it's a female specific lid there. Uh, next, going up the range, we're gonna get into the Meteor. Now this is gonna be a lighter weight helmet than the Boreo, a little bit lower profile, more streamlined. You know, this is whenever you're starting to climb uh, ice or mountain routes or multi-pitch things, weight is gonna matter. And you're looking for something super lightweight and super comfortable, the Meteor helmet's gonna do that. Uh, cool closure on the back to help hold your headlamp strap from flipping up over your lid. Head, headlamp, uh, catches on the front of the helmet to keep the headlamp positioned where it needs to be. Uh, we have a really quick adjust system on the back side. Just push these two little tabs and adjust. And then the beloved and cursed magnetic lock on the Petzl helmet. I say cursed because if you climb around granite, sometimes those little granite uh, uh, granules can get inside those magnets and actually keep the helmet from wanting to close. We do offer a super simple fix for that. Uh, we've posted it on the Ground Up Insta. You can also find it on Ground Up's website. But essentially, you can uh, put these uh, clips into warm water, soften in the plastic, and use a screwdriver and pop the magnets out. And that'll take that problem away, uh, should you hate that part about a Petzl helmet. Uh, one really cool thing too, uh, the inner parts of these helmets are fully removable, so you can take it out, throw it in the wash. Uh, it, that way, if it's getting super manky and stinky. Uh, that goes for the, the forehead pad as well as the pad that goes to the crown of the head. So you can keep your helmet a little cleaner and a little less gross. Now my favorite and kind of the ground up staff favorite uh, is going to be the Sirocco. So this is a full EPP outer shell uh, with an EPS uh, liner on the inside which is a little softer form of poly. This thing on the outside looks like a fragile plastic cooler, but I can tell you that this thing is wildly durable. We wouldn't be putting it on people's heads if it wasn't. Um, I've uh, had two of these. Uh, one, I, and the only reason why I had to replace it is I left one in a uh, gear cache 
and uh, a marmot actually ate through my strap overnight because of all this salt and stuff in it, so I had to replace the helmet. But uh, other than that, the, the shell was holding up really well. Very, very durable, very, very light. Plastic on the top to help protect the, uh, the main top part of the head from heavier rockfall and stuff like that. Um, Petzl's helmet game is just on top. There's really nobody that's bringing as much protection with as little weight to the market. So, uh, you know, we can say, honestly, some of the brands, lighter weight helmets, literally on the box say not intended for serious rock fall. And so that kind of tells you that when we're looking for protection, maybe you don't want to look in that direction, but look for something that's really burly, really tough, and has 360 degrees of protection.